Hello and welcome back. This is Sherry with Full Armor of God. And today I have a message for you from the Lord that has six scriptures. The first is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, verses 7 through 11 in the King James Version Bible. And it reads, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. For it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck, and will burst thy bonds, and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. But they shall serve the Lord their God, and David their king, whom I will raise up unto them. Therefore fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, saith the Lord, neither be dismayed, O Israel, for lo, I will save thee from afar, and thy seed from the land of their captivity, and Jacob shall return, and shall be in rest, and be quiet, and none shall make him afraid. For I am with thee, saith the Lord, to save thee, though I make a full end of all nations, whether I have scattered thee, yet will I not make a full end of thee, but I will correct thee in measure, and will not leave thee altogether unpunished. The second scripture is the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verses 13 through 14, in the King James Version Bible, and it reads, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat, because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth into unto life, and few there be that find it. The third scripture is the book of Matthew, chapter 25, verses 1 through 13, in the King James Version Bible, and it reads, Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps, and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell, and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they all... And they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Afterward came also the other virgins, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. The fourth scripture is the book of John, chapter 14, verses 6 through 7 in the King James Version Bible, and it reads, Jesus saith unto them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also, and from henceforth ye know him, and have seen him. The fifth scripture is the book of Revelation chapter 3 verses 20 through 21 in the King James Version Bible and it reads Behold I stand at the door and knock if any man hear my voice and open the door I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne even as I also overcame and am set down with my Father in his throne. The sixth and final scripture is the book of Revelation, chapter 21, verses 1 through 3 in the King James Version Bible. And it reads, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, 
coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. Now for the message received from the Lord God on January the 29th, 2023. My covenant I have bestowed upon thee all who have worshipped me honestly on bended knee. The day has come, the day is at hand. I am ready to take thee unto the promised land on New Jerusalem. It is as I have planned and is written of in the Holy Scriptures. All who have accepted me, your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, into your hearts and have repented from sinning will be winning my free gift of salvation. Calamity is at hand. It will strike suddenly. Be with me now, my beloved children. I long for you to seek me out in the secret place. Our relationship deserves much closeness and intimacy. I will comfort those seeking my face. Catastrophes will be occurring and many hearts will be afraided. You will be united with me in peace and serenity. Where I am is where ye shall be also. You are never alone when you reside in me, your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I will set you free from the cares of this world, even during the trials of Jacob's trouble. Remain humbled at my side. Relinquish all pride unto me. Decide to cast away the idols of this world. Pray unto me daily until I come for thee. Make yourselves ready by reading my gospel scriptures. Choose life in me. Eternal life is what you will see. A life filled with peace, love, joy, and harmony forevermore. I am knocking at your door. Will you answer and allow me to sup with thee? I am ready to take you home with me. But you must be ready to be received unto me and the Heavenly Father. Repent, pray, and ask me for forgiveness right away. The countdown has begun. Will you be among those who are ready to ascend with me? Or will you be left behind to be refined and endure through the trials of the Great Tribulation? It is entirely up to you. Choose life with me now, my beloveds. I cannot wait to finally meet up with you and dine together at the marriage supper of the Lamb. The time is at hand now. The last few grains of sand are dropping into the bottom portion of the hourglass. Be ready when I arrive or it will be difficult to survive day to day when all of the light has been taken away. Never deny my name and learn of who I am today in the books of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, exclamation point. Pray to be deemed worthy. Be heartfully sorry and accept me into your hearts right away, for it is urgent, urgent in all capital letters. The countdown has begun. Be among those ready to be swept away. My faithful bride will be taken in a moment's notice. I come at an hour when you know not, so you must always keep your lamps trimmed with oil as the five wise virgins did. If your lamps are gone out, then I will shut the door and you will be left behind to endure through a time of trouble, the likes of it you've never seen before. So ready yourselves today, right, right now, pray, and ask me to show you the way onto the narrow path without delay. Your only blessed hope, Jesus, your Savior. 
So another warning message. And he's speaking of the covenant. It says, My covenant I have bestowed upon thee, all who have worshipped me honestly on bended knee. The day has come, the day is at hand. I am ready to take thee unto the promised land on New Jerusalem. Also, he speaks of calamity. Calamity is at hand. It will strike suddenly. Be with me now, my beloved children. I long for you to seek me out in the secret place. Our relationship deserves much closeness and intimacy. I will comfort those seeking my face. Catastrophes will be occurring and many hearts will be affrighted. You will be united with me in peace and serenity. Where I am is where ye shall be also. You are never alone when you reside in me, your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I will set you free from the cares of this world, even during the trials of Jacob's trouble. So he's telling you he's going to set you free out of this these trials to come. Further down in the message, it says... Pray unto me daily until I come for thee. Make yourselves ready by reading my gospel scriptures. Choose life in me. Eternal life is what you will see. A life filled with peace, love, joy, and harmony forevermore. I am knocking at your door. Will you answer and allow me to sup with thee? I am ready to take you home with me, but you must be ready to be received unto me and the Heavenly Father. Repent, pray, and ask me for forgiveness right away. Right away excuse me. The countdown has become begun. Will you be among those who are ready to ascend with me, or will you be left behind to be refined and endure through the trials of the great tribulation? It is entirely up to you. So basically that is the message. He's telling you the countdown has begun says pray to be deemed worthy be heartfully sorry and accept me into your hearts right away for it is urgent in all capital letters the countdown has begun be among those ready to be swept away my faithful bride will be taken in a moment's notice i come at an hour when you know not so you must always keep your lamps trimmed with oil as the five wise virgins did and that means to always seek him daily in the Bible scriptures and be filled with the Holy Spirit of God and repent daily. Ask for forgiveness and pray to be deemed worthy. It says here, if your lamps are gone out, then I will shut the door and you will be left behind to endure through a time of trouble the likes of it you've never seen before. So ready yourselves today, right now, pray and ask me to show you the way onto the narrow path without delay. So he's telling you what you need to do in order to be ready to go with him so that you will be able to escape the great tribulation. So please heed the warning. Get to know him if you don't know him in the books of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And if you are just lost, one of the lost sheep, then form a much more closer relationship with him by getting into his word daily and asking him for forgiveness and on being on bended knee and praising and worshiping him. And he will come and take you away and you will not be left behind to endure through the great tribulation and may God bless you.